Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Adam Rattler with Adam's of Fun, and today we are talking about how to clean your Lorisar system. Now, your system doesn't take much maintenance. We want to keep it nice and dust free. Um, one of the benefits of our Smart 1980 system, this gold does not show dust, so if you're like me in a dusty area, Palm Springs, then you'll never see it and everything always looks clean benefit but your lower star system is going to come with a water bucket and so this is used to help flush your system we're going to flush our systems once a month it is not hard it's only weird the first time i promise one of the other things is we want to keep our iron plate looking nice clean and new Laura star does sell um, this protect plate it is a soap plate cleaning mat and how it works is um, basically we have a scrub pad on top of a piece of metal. This can sit right up on your ironing board. Even when hot, I can come and I can scrub my iron off. I had to use these during events where we used a lot of uh, fusibles and things. This is much used and much loved, but it does a great job of cleaning those um, sole plates off. So we're gonna keep things dusty, we're gonna keep our sole plate clean, but we're also gonna flush that system. So I'm gonna meet you down below so I can show you how to flush the system, show you how easy it is and give you some tips. All right, so here we are under the machine. Now, do this the beginning of the month. I always say at the first of the month, it's, hi, we have a little visitor. Hi, Barry. Mm, say hi. Mm, he just got groomed. Um, so we're gonna wanna do this at the beginning of the month. And we wanna do this when the unit is cold. You don't wanna try to do it when it's hot because there's a lot of pressure. This is where your boiler is. There is a boiler in here. I get that question a lot. So we have our water tank and everything's off. So I'm gonna take my water tank off and just move it to the side. I already dumped it out and I didn't wanna fill up water just to dump it out again because my filter's in there. So I'm gonna move that to the side. And we have a, handle, a hand screw here and there's also one down here. You might be able to see it a little bit in the, uh, in the camera. So that's what this bucket's for. Now don't do like Adam so fun and take the top one out first. It took me a year and a half to realize, oh, if I release the pressure down here first, that water is gonna come out a lot slower than if I take this one off and then take this one off. If you take the top one, this is just gonna gush everywhere. But with that top one on, I can hand unscrew this. So no screwdriver needed, no special tools, and it's going to start dumping my water out. That's what this nice little bucket's for. I leave this right next to it because I want to know where it is. Now I can slowly relieve and add some water or air coming through, and as I release this, the water is going to gush out the bottom much faster because you have some airflow. So now I have airflow in, water's coming through. I can see if there's any sediment. I can see if anything's in there, especially if you haven't done this. You wanna do this, like I said, once a month. If it's been a while and you see some sediment in here, we're gonna refill, we're gonna um, run it and do it twice. So now I'm gonna take this all the way out. And so there's my top screw. So one's big and one's small, and I have my I have my bucket. It has my water in it. So now I want to run some water through this. I'm gonna dump this really quick. There's a sink behind me. And what I'm gonna do is we we have our water tank. This is a transformer. I'm gonna take the lid, the little black lid, off the very top of the water tank. And you have this funnel. And you're probably like me going, well, that was weird shaped. I wonder why they did it like that. This funnel now sits right here with the tip of the funnel in the hole that this screw was feeling. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this piece out. I don't need to filter this water. I'm gonna fill this up to my max fill line and we're gonna set it back here and it's gonna flush our system. So let me see, I gotta fill this up and move positions. I'll be right back. All right, I'm coming back with my water. So I'm gonna put this back under that spout and I always fill to make sure it's there. And now I'm not gonna put the lid on the water because the lid is sitting up here, it's my funnel. I'm just simply gonna stick this on top of that lid and there's a spout and now my water is flushing through 
into the bottom. Make sure you dump this before you start this process, just in case you have more water in there, it's not gonna run anything through, or it's not gonna overfill. Um, so this, I'm just gonna let it sit here. I'm gonna wait until that flushes all the way through. Again, not hard, it doesn't take much time. It's scary the first time because you've never done it. There we go, and it runs through pretty quick. I'm also gonna look at my water, make sure everything looks nice and clear, and it looks beautiful because it's only, well, I guess it's the 23rd, but I've been traveling a lot this month, so I haven't used my iron much. I've only used it probably about six days total just because I haven't been home. My travel schedule gets in the way of the quilting time. So now I can see up here that my water's empty. I'm gonna lift this off because now I have to replace my filter and replace my water. Let it make sure it's draining out. So I'm gonna put my top plug in first, take that funnel out, and again, hand tight. Um, I like to put these, I mean, they're hand tight, but they're pretty tight. There's a nice gasket on our Lorisar systems, so we just wanna make sure we don't have anything to worry about. We are. And now that this is done, I can slide this out. Here's a trick. And again, don't do what Adam did. Because one day I thought, well, I'm going to be smart and I'm just going to put that on right now. Well, if you put it on, you can't get the bucket out. There we go. And that's how easy it is to flush the boiler in your Loristar systems. This is gonna work with the Smart Systems and the SPR Extra. It's so easy and it's gonna keep that iron working perfectly for you. So um, go out there, if you haven't done it in a while, make sure you take, a, take some time and flush your system. And while I'm down here, let's talk filters really quick. Now remember, we're gonna use regular tap water or spring water, never distilled water. But let's talk our filters. This is a Loristar filter. This is a cartridge filter. If you have an SPR Extra, you're gonna have those crystals. Um, and you'll see that it's a little bit of two different colors. If you can't see that in the video, I'll post a picture. Um, when the full filter turns brown, it's time to get yourself a new filter. These have a visual aid to show you when you need that new filter, whereas the lift systems have a light. So when your filter is all the way brown, I can see some brown at the bottom, but the top is still nice and uh, dark. It's, a, it's like an uh, emerald green or so. Um, so I still have some life in this filter. I'm not going to worry about it. But make sure you're keeping an eye on those filters whenever you are filling up your water. So you can see when you need to change that filter. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was something that was helpful for you. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. And at the end of the day, it's just quilting. We wanna go have a good time. So go flush those systems so you have nice, beautiful, dry microfine steam to get those pieces as flat as you can. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.